Okay, so here's another digiscoping demonstration with my Swarovski scope and my iPhone 4S. Normally I use the 20 to 60 zoom eyepiece. This time I'm going to try the 25 to 50 zoom eyepiece. And when I start this, I always have the eye cup out a little bit on the eyepiece just to give a little eye relief to the scope and to also keep from uh, scratching the lens, eyepiece lens on my scope with my camera because that is a tragedy. So what we're going to do is we're going to aim the camera lens on the iPhone to the ball of light you see in the scope's eyepiece. So we're just going to try and zoom into that. I'm lowering the phone onto the eyepiece. Okay. And voila. Now I'm pressing the phone screen to focus in on the Sharpie as a Sharpshin Hawk. Some handshake because I'm hand holding this. Interesting with the 25 to 50 zoom eyepiece is I have no vignetting in video. I do have it with taking photos, but that's easy to zoom in with your fingers, just like you enlarge a photo when you're looking at something on your iPhone. So this is using an iPhone 4S with a Swarovski spotting scope and a 25 to 50 zoom eyepiece. Okay, so I'm going to digiscope with the 20 to 60 zoom eyepiece on my Swarovski spotting scope. I'm just going to put the eye relief out just a little bit. I'm going to hand hold my phone up, but just so you can see the difference between the two lenses. So we're zooming in, or I'm lowering on to that little point of light. There is our same sharp shin talk. Now you'll see some vignetting here black circular lines around the image. That I can take out using iMovie later on.